Okay, y'all. I have fiddled and faddled around with this thing, and I can't get it to do exactly what I want it to. But anyway, it's the day after Thanksgiving. I guess it would make that the 27th. So, I thought I would show you um, how I make my little round succulent dishes. I guess you'd call them that. Now, first of all, you start with a nice, shallow, you can see that, pot. And this actually is not a pot, but the bottom of a pot. But it works so good for succulents because they don't have a very deep root system. And um, what he brought me... He, being Jerry, pretty much always, he brought that to me, and I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but it says, Made in Italy, Daroma, or Dorama. Now, this is the last little batch of succulents from the succulent lady, and they're all babies. So, in an effort, I'm not moving this, y'all, because I can't ever get it back to the way I had it. So anyway, in an effort to have less pots to keep down the busyness, which of course I'm not capable of, I am using these. I have several of them. One, two, three, four five so far I think this should be number six but anyway it's so so simple I have my um, soil right here and um, it's from that lady uh, growing succulents with Lee and she's over in Australia if y'all remember and this is the potting soil mix that she recommends so, you do not have to put any rocks in the bottoms of your pots. At least that's the latest from Google and all the um, information that they have on the different uh, places that you can look. And so, um, if you don't have a drainage hole, which I do not have one in this pot, um, you just water less, which is what I'm going to do because I'm so afraid that I would crack it. And Jerry is very, very busy, and I'm not going to ask him to help me with anything. But these babies look aren't they beautiful i mean oh my goodness and look oh um i did oops i did tump this tray over a while ago and all the dirt fell out um that's because i stepped on it of course now if i had somebody who was a production assistant or a camera person, you could see all the lovely things that I do. But anyway, uh, you see enough. So, to begin with, let me see. Now, this is the fish fertilizer that Lee uses, and she swears by it. Now, y'all, it stinks. So, you put some in a container, and then you just add some water now you don't have to add very much you want it to be um dark like coffee now there are different ways to use this and there have been times especially with the bigger succulents that i've tried to rescue that you take them 
and you clean off their little roots, which I have done most of that already. And um, then what you do is you set them in this solution. I'm just taking off some of the longer, um, there we go. And can y'all see that? You sit it in there and leave it overnight. But I'm not doing that. You don't have to. You can just let your little roots get hydrated. And then you put them in dry soil. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell you. Maybe I can do it this way. <laughs> Unfortunately, I figured that out. Um, okay, hold on. I got to find that thought. Dang, y'all. Just left me. Um, let me see. I was talking about this. Um, but anyway, you put it in dry soil. Oh, I remember. The hardest problem I have, you guys, about succulents is that when you pot them, you need to wait approximately two weeks before you water them at all unless it's really hot out we've had 80 degree temperatures and this whole next week it's going to be in the mid to high 70s which is heaven to me um sorry for y'all that are you know freezing your tushies off but anyway um so um yeah i'm gonna get started but that's the hardest thing that I have about succulents, is leaving them alone. Leaving well enough alone. We know that's real hard for me to do. So, um, I'm going to start by just taking some soil. And what you want to do is you want to fill your container up. You don't necessarily want to pack it, but you do want to fill it nice and full. Because if you don't, you want to leave some to go around after you get everything planted and make sure you've got it all covered good. Now the reason you do this is, and you want it to be just a little um, mounding okay because if you don't your succulents are going to be in a valley which is not good not 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 good okay so what i'm gonna do and i never have a plan y'all know that i am not a designer i don't have a plan but normally what i do is i start out with the big stuff first and then I go out with the smaller stuff. Sometimes I put the big stuff in the back so it's taller, and then I gradually go smaller. But this time, I think I'm gonna do it in a circle, and um, we'll see how that turns out. Now, one thing about these succulents, a wonderful thing, two things, that is wonderful for me is one, uh, you can't hardly kill them. And you've heard me say that so many times before. That breeze is a little chilly right there. Um, and the other thing is they are very forgiving of being transplanted. So if I did this bowl and tomorrow I didn't like the looks of it, or I wanted to change it for any reason, then I could do that and it's really not gonna hurt the plant. Um, but it is better if you can just kind of leave them alone, let their roots get, you know, uh, grabbing onto the soil 
and um, but I have moved so many of mine around and it really doesn't seem to bother them thank goodness okay so let's get with the program you don't need to see my lap you need to see my stuff okay this is really a handy dandy little tool and this came with a flower pot uh, some flower pots that I had ordered off Amazon. Now, I also have a pink one that came with my little succulent set that one of y'all sent me. I think I know who it is, but I'm not going to say. But it was wonderful. It had a table covering. It had all these little tools. It was awesome. So, anyway, I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to even this out just a little bit but I still want it to be um, elevated okay now what you do with this little tool is when you want to plant something you make yourself a little hole I think that's kind of in the middle now I'm not going to go down really really deep not even to my maybe to the first uh, bend in my finger. And let's see, who is the biggest? You can't really tell sometimes. I'm going to tell y'all who my favorite is. Look at that. Can you see that? How beautiful. Now, there are two plants here, and some of them, let me see what this is. Oh, good. It is, um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a millibug. <clears throat> so, um, that's my favorite. And then, um, these are next. And I don't mean my all-time favorites because, y'all, I don't have an all-time favorite of anything except pink. And I need to research that. Why does a person's colors change? Like, I've got so much red. I never liked red. But anyway, so who am I going to put there in the center let's see I'm gonna take them all out of the pot I think and um, thank goodness for the sweet lady whose name is Marie who sends me well she doesn't really send them to me but she does um, make them available so that I can have them and Thanks to my wonderful friend, Jerry. We're really so incompatible, y'all. Or we're so much alike that uh, sometimes we have a hard time dealing. Okay, let's see here. And you'll see some of these have a pretty, um, you know, deep little root structure. But that's okay because... They've gotten root bound. Can you see that? And the soil needs to come off and um, they need to be in fresh soil. There's no telling how long these little plants have um, been in the soil. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm checking to see if y'all can see I'm loosening up and just pulling out some of the, I'm just going to lay that right there for now, and I'm taking, some of these y'all are so hard, they are hard, oops, okay, he fell over, now, I don't know if you can see that itty bitty green dot. That's a baby. That's a baby. And I'm going to do my best to keep that uh, baby 
where it can continue to grow. So y'all bear with me while I do this. Yeah, I should have done it already. I should have done it already. But that's okay. Um, the very quietest, um, you know, Thanksgiving yesterday. Now I'm gonna separate these two because I'm not sure I want this little zebra plant in there. But, um, and you look at his, look at his roots. They are really long and he'll do a lot better with shorter roots and her too. Okie dokie. I wish I was, you know, really talented and I could do more than one and a half things at a time. Now, sometimes when you do this, when you take the dirt off, what you end up with, if you have two plants, is they'll separate, which is fine. It's just fine. Come here, baby. Let's take these. There we go. I've got a couple of teeny, tiny ones, y'all. Really teeny, tiny ones. So, let's see. Now, when uh, Jerry brought these over, now, can y'all see that little baby in there? There might even be two. But anyway, when Jerry brought these over, uh, thank goodness I had sense enough not to come out and mess with them that night. So, um, but I did come out the next day and um, I cleaned them up. I took them out of the pot, their little pots, and um, gave them just a little spritz of water. But they had a lot of um, dry, dead stuff. So I took all that out. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, that's one of my favorite things to do, is to clean them up. Okay. Now this is a little, um, this is in the sedum family, and it's so delicate. And it is like, oh, you could call it a mini ground cover if you wanted to. Okay, so this one right here, take a few more roots off of there. Okay, now then, I think what I'm going to do is this one has three plants to it. See that? So I'm going to put that one in the middle. But first, I'm going to dunk it in the fertilizer. Dunk, dunk, dunk. And I'm going to make my hole a little bit bigger. And you don't really want to, uh, like, really pack the soil around them. But it does, you know, you do want it to... Um, make contact. So there's that one. And I have several of these. So I'm going to do these kind of in a circle. Now you can pack these in if you want to, or you can um, keep them really separated out. But when you pack them in, that's when I like them the best. But I don't really have a whole lot of these babies. So, um, I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. Lil, do you smell the fish? Do you smell the fish? Okay. Y'all, I just love doing this. You need to beef up a little bit, sweetie got your hole a little bit too deep. 
here we go. Now, one thing that I am out of, y'all. Now, this one, I'm not... I'm not even sure that I have another one like that. Can you see the little center of it? I don't recognize, I, I don't recognize that I have one like that. And I love to get things that, oops, I broke that baby off. I, I love to get things that I don't have any of. So, I mean, I have got more than my share of pins and chicks. More than my share. So, um, you know, I don't need any more of those. Okay. Now, it's, now this is a hen and chick. And I'm going to put it in here. Take off that really long root. And these really spread out nicely, too. So we'll put her right there. There we go. I probably should be spreading these out a little bit more. But um, I always have more little things that I can um, fill in. Now I'm going to show y'all what I did with my front flower bed and it's just, I just love it and it's doing so good. Okay, come here baby, don't fall over like that. Okay, now this is two plants that have um, come apart but I am going to bury them together. There you go, babies. Right there. There are a couple of channels, y'all, that I swear these people are, they create the most beautiful, beautiful um, arrangements. And um, now, this baby, where am I? Where am I going to put her? She's just... You know what? I'm going to put her in the middle. See what I'm saying? But first, we need to give her a good drink. Let her get hydrated. By the time I get done, several of these will be loosened up, and then I'll just take my little thingy and um, gently press the soil in around them. And um, one of y'all had asked me a really good question, and it was like, why do you put rocks all around them? And I think I explained that the reason that you do that is because succulents do not like to be wet on the leaves. And so the little rocks, they call that dressing. Don't ask me why. You got some stuff on you, baby. There you go. Um, so you see, y'all are probably looking at this going, oh my word, I could fix that so much better. And trust me, y'all, I know you could. I absolutely know you could because I do not have that wonderful visual Thing that some people have. Now, when I get all finished, I have this little tool, and you've probably seen it before. It's this bulb, and it has a little thing attached to it, and when you push on the bulb, 
it puts out air and after I get all my dressing in here, top dressing, then I'll make sure that I clean all my stuff off. But if I do it right now, hmm, guess what? It is going to go everywhere. Okay, now I am not sure what this little thing, I'll get the big one, is called. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's a pale zebra, but it looks different in a way. So, um, there we go. Get a good drink, honey. Okay. And you got one, but I'm going to give you a little more. Okay. Now, I don't know where to put these. So, when I don't know where to put them, I just stick them where I want to. Guide these little roots down in the hole so I'm not breaking them all up. Here we go. Okay, where's the other one? Here's the daddy. And where's he going to go? Let's put him over here. There we go. Now, I have a big bowl full of hens and chicks so that if I need some little something to kind of fill in or whatever, I have it. Now, this is just a little bitty zebra plant. So, <clears throat> my allergies have been terrible. I told Jerry yesterday that I was uh, allergic to him, which might be true. And it seems like I always get really stuffed up whenever um, I'm sitting up for the ceiling fan for some reason. Okay. Now then, y'all, I have got some teeny tiny little babies. I mean teeny tiny. They're adorable. This one is one of those little weird kind of zebra plants. Now, um, I'm letting I'm letting this, where my favorite one is in the middle, be the front of the pot. Now, I could scoot it around like this and let this be the front, but I think I'm going to do it this way. <clears throat> and I know I'm going to get some teeny tiny baby hens and chicks. Um, to fill out in here because I do like my stuff to be full <clears throat> excuse me you can always thin it out later okay we're going to move this guy right here where are we going to put him let's put him right here or her oh this was the two that came um disconnected. There we go. Now I just knocked off two, they're so delicate, two of the little leaves. And if they got knocked off correctly, they'll grow a baby. So I'm just going to leave it right here in the soil with that little tip there's two of them with the little tip it's hard to there we go let me turn that one over these gloves okay let me see let me um dump this guy the reason that i have the gloves on is not the dirt 
it's this fish stuff. It's not the dirt. So, I'm just going to get my little babies in there. And then I can take the gloves off because these are... Um, now, I have seen... This one is still usable. Um, I've seen Lee just totally submerge her plants in this um, fish stuff. Okay, now let's see here. I wanted to turn. You, what you want to do is put them in face up where that little tip is just covered up a little bit and it makes contact with the ground. Now I'm growing a bunch of other babies and I'll show them to y'all one of these days. I don't know how long I've been rambling on here, but okay, let's see now. I've got one, two, three, and that little delicate ground cover. I think. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put this one right here. You know, I kind of have a thing about symmetrical, but not as much as I used to. It used to drive me crazy. I could not have stuff pictures on the walls, cans in the um, cabinet. Things had to be symmetrical. Okay, but now, eh, highly overrated. Okay, and this baby is awesome. Okay. She's in the middle. Now, this is being a little bit um, one-sided as far as um, me planting more in the front than in the back. But like I said, I've got plenty of little stuff that I can um, fill that in with. So here's this little guy right here. Now, eventually what happens with these little guys is they will start to run, which is awesome. Okay, now, get off of there. You have to make sure, or you should make sure, that all their little roots are kind of covered up with some soil. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just some. There we go. Now then. Okay, so mm, I need to, dear God, please help me not to drop this. Okay, can y'all see how that looks right now? I may not be holding it correctly, but you can see around here in the back, I've got some little spaces and like I said, I've got some stuff to fill that in with. And when I make one of these trays, sometimes I'll go around and I'll look at my pots, my little teeny pots, and I'll remove some of those out of their little teeny pots and use them to plug in here. So y'all, I just thought I'd share that with you. And now I'm going to show you two that I got the other day at Walmart. You know, I don't buy plants anymore from Lowe's because of all the mealy bugs. So uh, let me show you this one I have to be really careful with. And these have not been repotted yet. Okay. This is a Mickey Mouse ear or rabbit ear. 
cactus. Now this is a cactus and I'm not really crazy about most of them. Now see, I haven't done anything. These are um, um, dead ears that have broken off. But y'all, are they not the cutest little things? Look at that. They're adorable. I don't know if you can see those little spines are so small. I got all along that part of my hand the other day filled with those little spines. Whew, I didn't think I was ever going to get them out, but you take a credit card or something like that and you go down in the direction that they're going down in, never backwards. And I got most of them out. So um, it's very irritating. Now this video is really long, but I've got one more I want to show you. And this one is, it's an Echeveria Hybrid Raindrops. Now look at that. At first, I didn't like the looks of it. I thought it looked like, you know, some poor teenager with really bad skin or something. But now, I think it is beautiful and it is going to bloom. So, I have got to find a really pretty pot for this one and um, get that repotted. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. So, that's it. Whew, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. Now, I've got various little uh, pieces of top dressing. That little tiny stuff, that's my favorite. And that's what I need for this bowl because these plants are so tiny. So I'm gonna have to um, pick up another package of that. And you get five pounds for about $6, I think. So anyway, y'all, love you. I hope you like this video and do something fun today and absolutely do something to make yourself happy. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.